You guys voted, and the winning recipe for this week are graham cracker goodies. Yay! Something I like. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you guys know Raymond. He's here to eat our goodies. Everybody loves Raymond. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is going to be our recipe. I will post it in the classroom as well, but it's pretty simple. We are just going to need one tub of Cool Whip, which you know we always have in our classroom. You will need one box. It says instant <laughs> vanilla pudding. But if you want to get fancy, you could use chocolate. You could use pistachio. If you wanted to make a different flavor filling, you don't have to use vanilla, but we're going to use vanilla. You're going to need graham crackers. And again, we're using the regular honey graham crackers, but you could always use chocolate, cinnamon, whatever flavor graham crackers they have. And last, we're going to be needing, if you want, sprinkles. And this is the kind of sprinkles we have here. So we're going to be using these. So the first thing we need to do is add the Cool Whip and the dry pudding mix into a bowl. Okay? And Nancy's going to show us how you guys can help scoop okay. the Cool Whip. Yep. Yeah. Just like always, kind of hand over hand approach with some kids is good. Some of our friends can use the spatula, but if not, we're just going to help a child by, and someone will hold the bowl, Aaron, oh, Aaron. Sorry. that I'm... always needs to happen around here because you just never know. And we know <laughs> teamwork is the dream work uh -huh. in our classroom. And there goes the Cool Whip. Ow. So we have our Cool Whip in the bowl, and now we're just going to open our Jello uh, or whatever brand you have pudding mix. And, and, again, and this is something our friends do when we start it. And listen, I'm, I just want to shout out to Robert because Robert has been opening mail and this is something that he can do once it's started. He's done a great job opening the mail. I watched him do it. So get it started and then our friends can get their finger underneath. And I'll give it over to Aaron. Did you need something to say, Raymond? You want to come and say hello to all our YouTube viewers? This is part of cooking group with Raymond acting ridiculous. But once we get our pudding open, you guys can either use scissors, which we practice at school, or just rip open the box, baggy. And then again, you might need to do hand over hand with someone and just pour the pudding mix in as long as you don't spill it like I might have. <laughs> Now, once you have your two ingredients, the Cool Whip and the dry pudding mix, you are going to get a spoon or, and spatula. You have, or spatula, and yep. you're going to mix it all together. I'm going to just give it a stir. Yeah, well. Somebody's holding. Some, some of our friends, like Isaiah, could do this without a lot of help. Other friends, like maybe Aaron, might need a little bit more help. And again, you're going to mix this until the pudding and the Cool Whip are all mixed together nicely. It does. We don't want it to look grainy, so we want it to be nice and smooth. So that might take a minute. So it's going to take a minute. You know how sometimes when we're making um, recipes in our classroom that we take turns mixing because it can take a while to get everything mixed up. So if you're mixing and you need a break, you can say, I need a break or I need help. All right, what do you think, Miss Erin? I don't know. What do you guys think? Does that look nice and smooth? Looks, it looks good to me, Nance. Okay. As long as you don't have any pudding mix flying around, we're good. So the next part is we're going to take our filling, and we are going to take our graham crackers. And I'm going to give Nancy a graham cracker, and you're just going to take it, and you can just break it in half. Right. And I'll take one and break it in half. And you're going to need a knife, and it doesn't have to be sharp. Here you go, Nancy. Thank you. You're going to take some of your filling just on your knife, and you're going to spread it 
almost like you'd be spreading peanut butter and jelly on a, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And you're just going to spread it all over. And the recipe says that you guys should spread it so it's kind of um, coming off the sides because we're going to dip them in sprinkles. Oh, so we need a little bit of extra probably. And if you don't want to do the sprinkles part, that's also okay. The sprinkles kind of just make it look more fancy and festive. And you know how we like being fancy and festive in our classroom. Okay. So once you're done, I'm just going to add a little extra because I'm making this one for Raymond. Ooh. We're going to take the other part of our graham cracker and just make a sandwich. And squeeze it down. And you can see it's kind of squishing out, which is good. Okay. Because the next part, we're so going we to our... take our sprinkles. Yep. And pour them on the plate. Let's move this out of the way. And you guys can use whatever sprinkles. We have just the tiny round ones, but if you like the bigger ones that you might use in an ice cream sundae, you can do that. And all you're going to do is you're going to kind of just dip them. Oh, how cute is this, guys? This does look very festive. And you're going to make a sprinkly sandwich. Woohoo! Now the recipe does say once you assemble all of these and you make this, you can put them in the freezer for a couple of hours until they're nice and frozen. But Nancy and I aren't going to wait two hours for these to like freeze up a little. So we're going to be able to try them now. However, Raymond or Vincent, would you guys like to come over and try our recipe? Yes? Perfect. Come on over, guys. Here, I'll share. Yeah, and we're going to cut ours in half into pieces. And again, you can eat these without freezing them, but you might want to try it by freezing them. All right, guys, come on over. You're going to try our recipe. Here we go. How can we eat with our... Here, you can take the masks off. Just... Here you go, Vincent. Thank you. How does it taste? You go first. You give us your honest opinion. You need to swear, Nadia. We're filming. Well, that was really good. That's good. Vincent's giving. Hope this, you can try this, guys. This is going to the kids. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Thank Thumbs you. Up. Raymond, Thumbs are up. you going to try it? <laughs> Raymond or Sonny, are you guys going to try it? Remember, this is video is for the kids. So. It's so good. You didn't even try it yet, Raymond. Here, sit down. Well, I'll try it too with Raymond, and then Nancy will. Cheers! Uh, it's so good! It's, I think this will be better if it's a little colder, so put them in the freezer mm -hmm. for sure. But the flavor's good. Mm -hmm. yeah. We make our Cool Whip uh, pudding frosting all the time, so um, we hope you enjoyed our video. We hope even more that you enjoy this recipe. Next week, um, I might do a birthday cake milkshake or the Dole Whip because we got so many votes and you guys all really wanted yeah. all of those recipes. So I'll do a couple more cooking videos before summer's over. But right. I hope you guys are enjoying your summer, enjoy your treats, and have a great day. Bye! Bye. Hold on, I got to